Your first sort of professional job is this soap opera, mm -hmm. Trey Kroner. Mm -hmm. And was that, I'm, I'm always fascinated about first jobs and how they sort of set the tone for what you think your job is. Yeah. Because people who land in a great yeah. experience, uh, it's like, this is the greatest business ever. Yeah. But I would imagine there's a lot of I soap opera it. actors oh. yeah, but who, you know, who the, never the, go on and the act. The thing is, like, so funny enough, so, so the soap opera there was like, you know, a weekly. It was like on, on Wednesdays, Wednesday 8 p.m. And the Swedish population by that time was like, I think, 8 million people. 3 million watched it. So imagine that. It's like oh, wow. a third of the population was watching this on Wednesday. So, it was so you're massive. getting recognized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From when a I was young 16, age, how old? You were 16. 16. Yeah, and I hated it. Like I, I saw one episode. It? I saw the first episode. I was like, hell no. <laughs> I went up to the producers like, I don't want to be in second season because I thought it was so bad. Really? Yeah. I was like, I don't care about money. I don't care about anything. I don't want to. I don't want to do this. So I was it's like this very stubborn, strong-minded, a little bit too loud, 16-year-old girl. I was like, asked the producers to like, not bring me back to second season. So what would happen when people recognize you and you hated that you were in it? Um, you know, I think I, it was awful, uh, to be honest, because I mean, I remember I was doing press when I was like 16. I did an interview with a magazine and they were, I was very serious then, you know, I, was, I took things very serious. And then they were asking me, so how far would you go, you know, in your acting? Like, how, what would you do? You know, what, what wouldn't you do? And I was like, you know, depending on the character. And then they was like, he asked me, would you, you know, could you have sex with like an older man? Which is like a really weird question. Yeah, I was like, what? well, yeah. And what this magazine is like was one, this? This is like the biggest, like, you know, biggest daily magazine, like really? newspaper, newspaper in Sweden, yeah. It called Expressen. Um, and then basically, there was like an old actor who was like 60 something, Ange Togo Yarago, this like legendary old man. And he asked me like, would you, could you see yourself have a sex scene with him? He's asking a 16 year old girl this. And I was like, well, yeah, if the character, if that was required for the film and for the, yeah. And then he was like, yeah, but like you would rather do a sex scene with Johnny Depp, right? And Johnny Depp was like maybe 40 at that time or something, or 35, I don't know. And I was like, yeah, of course, like he's closer to my age, you know, that wouldn't be. And then the headlines, like the next day was like, I want to have a sex scene with Johnny Depp. <sighs> and I did not, God. I didn't leave my room for two weeks. So you, you had that experience 16, right, right off the bat. Yeah. Of, yeah. of, oh, here's what it's like to be an actress. Mm -hmm. And then I had to, I remember then I was like, I needed to find a way. Again, it was like, okay, what happened when I was 12 or 13, when I was like, take control. Don't, don't, don't leave it to them. Don't be a victim. It's in your hands. You made a decision to do the interview. Next time, don't answer those questions or say to him, like, why are you asking me? I'm 16 years old. Why ask me if I would have a sex scene with an, a man who's 65? But I was very, um, I think, I, th I kind of think my childhood ended when I was like seven or something. I became an adult pretty young. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you wanna see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm gonna give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.